What is up, everyone? It's your boy, Phil Shocker, the 96 Head Jug here with the VBL Week 8 game, taking on Lady Karrison, who has been a familiar face, if you remember. We actually used to battle off a lot of the times in the, I believe it was... I don't remember, but it was a league that originally started with uh, G-Maxes and um, I think bottom Pokeballs. Up on, I don't remember. But we have faced Lady for a couple of times, and we've beaten her... I think only one time she's beaten us twice. We killed her with a we used we killed her Pelipper with a Ferrothorn. I remember that moment. That was one of my best moments ever. But this is a pretty big game. If if Lady wins this game and wins next week, she makes playoffs. If we win this game, we're guaranteed playoffs. If we lose this game, we're not out of playoffs, but we will have to win against Cam Eruption, aka Cammy, for next week. So. We're not necessarily out if we lose, but I would rather win this one than face Cammy because Cammy is a very tough and talented player. So we got our hands full. And uh, this matchup is no different as well. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and just challenge Lady right now. Also, sorry sorry if, you know, Lady feels offended by just calling her Lady. I just don't want to mispronounce her last name ever. Because it's kind of hard to say. It's like Kaiserin, like Kaiserin. Like I'm trying to like try to figure out. So this is the Lady. So, uh... Good luck and have fun to her. She doesn't bring Scream Tail. I'll actually take that, to be honest with you. And no, Amoongus. That's actually pretty huge. So she does bring Slowbro. Slowbro was something I could have possibly saw as a potential answer. I won't lie. I did see that as potential. And uh, Mudzale. Mudzale was also something I could have possibly saw as well. So, um, uh, this is quite interesting here. So, my Terra Fire definitely is looking really, really good. But I have to get rid of Soul Bro for it to really pop off. My Venom off looks insanely good. Wait, why my safety goggles? I remember that. Why my safety goggles? What was safety goggles for? She, I, I think she had a Pokemon that took advantage of safety. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I built this team, so. Uh, my Iron Hands looks insanely good. Um, you just gotta get rid of that Mudzio, weaken that Mudzio down. My Maleficent pretty much just wins. My Gyarados kind of just wins. I'm gonna lead off with Delibot here, because Delibot's a free lead here. As she's going to lead up with Rotom. So now there's a couple of plays here. She could be Scarfed, but I am Scarfed, so I guarantee outspeed. Now the Hydro Pump or a Volt Switch could be coming here. I could see the switch in to the Croak. And when it comes to the Croak as a switch in, I do have my Tsunami. And I can start setting up with my Tsunami. But again, we're in a situation then where Slowbro becomes a problem. Do I want to risk this, risk the Hydro right now to try to kill this Rotom? Because if it's standard Rotom with just being offensive, Hydro Pump does kill. But if it is a specially defensive Rotom Heat, like there could be a possibility... Hydro's still a roll. Volt Switch doesn't guarantee knock me out. This is a very risky play on my end if I go for it. Because Volt Switch can actually very well kill me here. I'm going to risk it in Hydro. And we miss. Of course we do. Of course we do. That's such bull, man. Come on. We honestly might just lose now because now I just lost one of my best checks to Mudsdale. Like, losing Mudsdale 
that freaking losing Deli Bot right there just freaking sucks, man. It's such a bull, man. So I have Bug Buzz and Sludge Bomb are my only good moves right now. That's such. That's such garbage, man. That really is garbage. Like, that's really garbage because of that. Just how stupid that is. I had to go mop here. That's such garbage, man. Turn one, miss. Are you kidding me? All right, I'm going to quiver here. Also, sorry if you hear a loud truck outside. I don't know why people always want to do this. I guess they're trying to show off how small their manhoods are. Damn, man. That Rotom should be dead by now. 60 G4 to B6. Hey, yo. I like that name. I like that name. Alright, if I had to pick a Pokemon to put to sleep, it's going to be this thing. So I'm guaranteed one turn here. So King Gambit. If it's an offensive breaker like this with my Venom off. At plus one right now, I do to a KO it. To Rotom Heat, which I'm going to guess is offensive. Sludge Bomb to a KOs. And I don't live in overheat. I'm going to risk it and quiver again. This is a very risky play because now they have only one turn of sleep to burn. This is very, very, very risky. Very, 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 very risky. This is very, very risky. But if she brings in hard Rotom right now, as she just did, I literally just heard the sound effect for the Rotom. I guarantee live this overheat now. And Sludge Bomb has the best chance to get the KO here. So I'm going to risk it in Sludge Bomb. We don't get the KO. Of course we don't. And of course you tricked me. So now I am locked into one move. Uh, I just ban Bug Buzz now. Actually, wait. That's actually best case scenario for us. Because she did trick afterwards, which means I get to select my move. That did no damage. What the heck? How'd that do no damage? Annihilate. That's plus two. Tinted lens. Wow. That's not the best. Okay, so... I think my smart play is just to go for damage here. I can get a spadef drop. I can get a crit. Alright, it's taunt. So it reels taunt. I'm just going to keep spamming bug bug right now. So it must be drain punch, rage bust. Drain punch. No damage. I think I just spam bug buzz until the cow come home. And they rage fist me. Of course they knock me out. I'm going to go into the family here. I'm going to click play rough here. I'm pretty positive this kills. I am pretty positive this kills. I should have calc this beforehand. 42 to 50%. Okay, this guarantee kills. But Come on, man. The fact that turn one hydro missed is such... Because you can see right now... It's guaranteed it's going to kill then. Come on. I know I shouldn't be keep getting butthurt about it, but God. It's so annoying. It's seriously so annoying that I had a miss. Now, I'm going to look at this. And I will be mad at myself if this also would have killed. 
Okay, so Chilling Water did not kill. Okay, we're not going to get 6 owed, which is good. And they lost their Terra user, which is also very good. Alright, so now looking at this, you guys can see that Chilling Water was indeed the correct play to make. Oh, God, that sucks, man. I'm going to sub here. This actually might be game. I didn't think about this. Yeah, this could be game. This could be game. I have to go for Aqua Tail and hope and pray to God this kills. If it doesn't, then oh well. Alright, so you're plus five. So rule edge to a Mudsdale. I think we just lose. I really think. It's plus five. Yeah, I can't even touch this thing, bro. My iron hands. Dick doesn't do anything. Mouse hold. It'll just increase its defenses. Yeah, I think that's just the game right there. I think I have to go for whatever damage I can with Mouse Hold. I think that's my only shot with uh, this thing. If I had Will-O-Wisp, this could have been really, really great, but uh, no, I don't. So I'm just going to bulk up here. An Earthquake to my Cerillage does kill, but if I'm plus one defense, it does 72 to 86. So yeah, it's not even worth it. I got it for the crit. And of course I don't get it. Of course I don't get it. Why not, right? I have to go for Population Bomb. I have to hope I get a... Hope I get lucky here. I can get one crit. We have a shot. Oh my god, we got a crit. Let's go. Oh my god. Mouse hole. Thank you. Okay, so that does keep us in the game right now. That 100% keeps us in the game right now. I think my best case scenario that crit 100% makes up for that miss. Okay, so we actually have a shot. What do you mean not really? Of course it does. All right, income slow, bro. All right, I need to decide what I'm going to do here. I think I need to save mouse hold. Slow, bro. If it's physically defensive versus my mouse hold. Population bomb at plus one. I think I have to go for it. Come on, mouse hold. Come on, mouse hold. This is redemption time, baby. Come on, mouse hold. Come on, mouse hold. And of course, of course it's Rocky Helmet. Of course it's Rocky Helmet. Why wouldn't it be, right? Well, we lose now. Any chance to win just went out the way. I'll zoo. Rocky Helmet, though, very smart brain. Knew I should have went protective pads, but I just ha I had to go freaking wide lens. It was my only play. Yeah, they're going to win this game. That sucks. If I had Drain Punch right now, I probably would have been able to win this here. But that's going to be the game, man. We lose. BS. Again. They at least let me get the kill with Iron Hands, so I very much appreciate that. Because now all they got to do is just go Toxic Croak here. They can click any one move, and it's going to win them the game there. Sludge Bomb. If I get Para there, I have a chance. Nope. Yeah, if I got the pair there, I could have had a chance, possibly. But it's whatever. That's just BS, man. 
We literally, I think we generally lost because of that miss. That miss 100% cost us the game because, again, Rotom would have been dead immediately turn one. That does allow Krogunk, I mean, Toxic Krogunk, Toxic Krogunk to come in and either click a fighting type move or whatever it wants to do against me. But then I have appropriate switches to that. And with having Deli Bird still around, I basically offensively pressure everything on her team. Looks like the only thing that would have been a little bit of a problem would have been the end. Would have been the annihilate because if it's this bolt, if it's this set, which is standard, uh, with iron bundle, we still get walled by it. So again, she also could have went into that, got a free bulk up off, and it could have done something like that as well, possibly. So I'm not gonna say this necessarily wasn't like a game over type of scenario, because again, if we also go into my Sarah okay, why is it always going to Gary? We go into the Serilage set here. I can just sneak in. I can sh Shadow Claw into Sneak, live the Rage Fist. I mean, if he does go, if she, my bad, my bad. If she does go plus one, Shadow Claw into Sneak doesn't kill, but that puts it in range of things like Venomov. It puts it in range of things like Gyarados, potentially. It puts it in range of Deli Bird to go really able to spam Ice type attacks, essentially, at that point, because Ice Spam would have been free against her team. So 100% that miss cost us the game. Which is so frustrating, man. It seriously is frustrating. Like, I've been liking Iron Bundle. He's been a really good mom. But god damn, they'll have to rely on Hydro Pump every single time. It's so stupid. I hate losing a game, especially when a game it looks like we definitely won. I wasn't going to say and guarantee that we won this game. But it sucks to lose this game because of that miss. Because I really think the miss would have helped us and we would have been able to win the game. Now, there could have definitely been some possibilities... That lady could have still won because obviously she reveals that she was special. She obviously had Vacuum Wave. Vacuum Wave definitely could have put in some work for her team. Obviously, Vacuum Wave on my mouse hold would have been really good. And again, it would have been just a really good option for her team. But that freaking miss, man, it just furiates me. And I will admit, too, I probably should not have ran Choice Scarf. I should have just ran like either Timid or Modest in this matchup, and I could have been able to do that. So I do think the on the terms of prep for Iron Bundle. That's again, and again, it's where I'm realizing these mistakes after the battle. Like, Scarf didn't make any sense. I think Scarf didn't make any sense unless I was scared of Annihilate, which Annihilate against my team was very scary. But I think at the same time, Annihilate is just very good in terms of what it can counter and get free setup on and everything like that. So I should have realized that. So I will say, I will own up the mistake about the Delibot one, the Delibot one there, but freaking Hydro Miss, man. Turn one, screwed us, which is so stupid. But, um... That's going to be Mons, guys. So now in order to make playoffs, we have to beat Cam. And that's just such stupid. That's just so stupid, man. Especially when it looked like we could have this game won because she didn't bring the stuff that was really scary. Like, no Screamtail really put us in a really good position. And also not having... Uh, what's this thing? Um... I definitely think us having the safety goggles ended up biting us in the butt. I think Black Sludge would have been better for us because then the Rotom would have been at roughly um, less than 14%, which meant she was forced to either sack that thing or, again, do hard switch out onto something. I also probably should have just went for the Sludge Bomb in general as well, just get the poison off. And, yeah, she switches to the King Gambit, but then she can't. she's got to burn a sleep turn. I can go into Iron Hands. I can go into... My Gyarados for free and start setting up, you know. Like, I had these so many options I could have done. But it's just frustrating, man. It's really, really frustrating. That Mudsdale set, though, was pretty was actually pretty interesting. I actually kind of really liked that set. It was a really good counter set. But, yeah, I'm just frustrated, man. I'm just so frustrated that a Hydro Pump miss basically probably did cost us the game. Well, that's going to be...